It's all time and welcome back to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel. First we are gonna do a bond story for Emma. Hey Emma, what's up? Are you studying? I was doing research for the Little Red Club, so I decided to take opportunity to check my answer from a midterm. I was also thinking about reviewing the material for upcoming classes too. He, you dominate the exam scoreboards for a reason. I should probably take a page from your book and start studying harder. And of course, I'll be searing a new one. Remember, I always here to help if you have any questions. Let's do that. So this might be a bit out of the blue, but will you mind helping me out with some story related questions? There are a few things we went over in class that I didn't understand at all. It'd be my pleasure. Shall we get started then? I see. So this is where you update this formula. That's right. You are vast learner. That's high praise coming from you, Emma. Hope you will know about those midterms anyway. Expecting a good score? I'm not sure about that. I did everything I possibly could put the rest in Arios' hands now. How about you, Reen? Hmm, I really can't say, to be honest. Fingers crossed that I beat the average. That's not quite shooting for the stars, but it's good start. I'm curious to see how PS scored too. Wait, Reen, stop that's not how you do that. This calls for a different formula, you see, if you... Whoa. Are you pays paying attention? Alright, sorry. Ha, huh, never really noticed it before, but compared to a lot of other girls here, she's really feel it out and uh... Whoa, 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 Rain. Come on, get your head back in the right place, right in between now. Green, all of a sudden you turn it bright red. Are you okay? Do you feel... No, I'm fine, I'm fine. That must just be uh, the light from the sunset. In fact, I'm more than fine. I'm just great, never felt better in my life. Okay then, if you say so. Hehe, <laughs> let's move on to the next space. They keep studying until it was time for Green to excuse himself. However, because he suddenly found his mind otherwise occupied, he wasn't able to retain much of what he learned. We we get the link level 3 already. And now we can return back to Dorm. Oh, Reen! Did you just get back too? Oh, it's Sarah here. Oh, hey there, Instructor. Welcome back. Well, the building's still standing, so I guess you all behaved yourselves. Excellent. It looks like you've really thrown yourself into helping out the student council, Reen. But you spend all your time working, and life will just pass you by before you know it. Alas, if only my evil stepteacher would stop dumping a bunch of work on me and let me go to the ball. Hey, did something happen? You look really beat. Nothing bad. Just been real busy these last couple days. That Toval really needs to learn how to treat a lady. Honestly, dumping that much work on me? Come on, I'm too delicate for that. Mm -hmm. I guess your hot date didn't turn out so well then? Huh? Of course it did. As if a night with me could fall short of unforgettable. He was just amazing. Such a gentleman. So strong. So passionate. But I'm afraid oh, well. all the details might be more than you could handle. It's too soon to corrupt your poor, innocent heart. Yeah, I almost want to believe it, but yeah, I don't think so. Everything okay last night then? Nothing major happened while I was away? Not particularly. Oh, wait. Actually, we had a woman show up claiming to be the dorm's new caretaker. Did you know about this? Oh, she's here already? I'd heard that the Reinford family was sending a maid, but I wasn't sure when she'd arrive. Something sure smells good, though. Oh, I'll bet that Sharon fixing dinner. She's a great cook. She made breakfast for us today, too. Oh, I can hardly wait. This Class 7 gig has some real fringe benefits. I'll have to get her to whip up some snacks to go with my beer later. <laughs> Looks like she knew about Elisa's family after all. She knows everything. Welcome back, Master Bean. Lady Sarah. Oh, hey, Sharon. 
good to see you. You can stop with the masterine stuff, though. It's not like I'm the one paying your salary. Oh, but that just wouldn't do at all. Politeness toward those I serve is part of the maid's code of honor. <laughs> or might you prefer something more like my dearest Reen? Whoa! Not in front of the teacher. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sharon. I was sent here to serve you, courtesy of the Reinford family. I will do my utmost to cater to your every need. I hope I can be of service. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Though if you don't mind my saying, you look a little familiar. Are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? Huh? I'm afraid we haven't. You certainly don't seem to be an individual one would easily forget. I look forward to serving you, Lady Sarah Valestine. Why, thank you, Sharon Kruger. This feels like a good time to make my exit. Hmm? This looks like... What now? Oh, more mission probably. Oh, it's a letter. Please don't worry about me. Well, I still have much to learn before I feel like I deserve my status among the nobility. I've been blessed with wonderful friends, and I'm enjoying life here at the Academy. I often feel more concerned for how you're faring in your own status. Thor's Military Academy is well known for its connections to Emperor Dreykel's and its strenuous curriculum. And I worry that the dangers you face in your training could catch even you by surprise someday. I pray you don't neglect your own well-being. The world has many soldiers, but you're my only brother, Elise Schwarzer. <laughs> so nice. You never change, do you, Elise? No, oh, I guess it's probably me who hasn't changed much. What a nice picture. Wonder who was that then? <sighs> I really should write back to her. And to mom and dad for that matter. It's radio time. Again, I'm coming to you live from Radio Trista, and it's 9 p.m. on this calm June 20th evening. Let's kick off this week's Aubin time. The weather around the capital has sure been wet lately, but not very wild. I thought that rain would never let up. Thanks to that, I ended up holed up in my room, even on my precious days off. Still, the end of June's just around the corner, which means summer festivals are in full swing across Erebonia. The festival out in the port city of Ordis is known for the breathtaking sight of hundreds of bonfires afloat on the bay. In the old capital of St. Ark, they know how to party hard with a festival that keeps going for five nights straight. Unfortunately, I've never been able to get out to either of them. I'm hoping to make it up to myself by taking the train to some far-off destination on my next vacation. Sounds nice. Now, where would be the perfect place for this wayward traveler to visit? I'd love to visit Crossbell. Exploring its theme park and seeing one of Arkansas's theatrical performances would be great. But the thought of just riding to the end of the line and taking in the rustic beauty of the Nord Highlands is just so tempting. I know, Director, I know. Ah, is it too much to ask to let a girl dream big? And it's western day, practical exam day, once again, lunch break. Oh, now we can see your score. Is mine. Oh, didn't do as bad as I was afraid I would. I can't 
believe Emma and Machias tied for the top score. Congrats, Machias. You always put up some impressive numbers. <laughs> Looks like you made good on your word after all. Amazing. I suppose. Emma's the real natural, though. Oh, not at all. We both just really hit those books this last month. I'm glad everyone did so well. Agreed. I scored higher this last time than I did on the entrance exam. I suppose I'll have to settle for third this time. <laughs> you make it look easy, Yusis. Looks like you and I managed some pretty respectable scores too, Reen. Yeah, we'll be nipping at Machias and Emma's heels before you know it. If we study like madmen. <laughs> Can't help but feel like I could have so. done better if I put a little more effort in. I feel a bit left out. <laughs> you did really well, Fee. You must have had all the basics down pretty well to have scored like you did. If you can build on that in the next exam, I have no doubt you'll be able to score even higher. I guess. If I feel like it. By the way, there's something posted up over there. Oh, wow! It seems Class 7 had the highest average score. Option. Excellent! I figure that might be the case, considering we have the Academy's top three high scorers. <laughs> you talk as if a class I'm a member of could possibly fail to place first. Why do you always have to be so full of yourself? Boys, boys! I think we should be proud of what we've accomplished. Me too. Good work, everyone. Good work. Hooray. How could they the pride so of the mad. Empire's nobility lose to those plebeians? And Elisa, thinking she could hide her roots that easily. AP English 5-1 Afternoon Protocol Exam Here we go again Tap, well, tap, tap. aren't you all the overachievers? Congrats on your amazing performance on the midterms. I'll cherish that grumpy look on the vice principal's face forever. That'll teach him to poke his nose into my business. We didn't do all that work just so you could stick it to him, you know. Besides, you bring most of it on yourself. Ugh, always tromping around like he owns the place with that smarmy mustache of his. It's one thing to gripe about work, but where does he get off telling me what to wear and how to behave in a bar? Now he keeps telling me I need to hurry up and get married. Yeah, I'll marry my foot to your face, jackass. <clears throat> anyway, is everyone ready anyway. to leap boldly into this month's practical exam? I'm fully prepared, instructor. I can take whatever task you have to throw at us. Ah, <sighs> well, at least this ought to be easier than the midterms. Oh no, more robots again. Here we go again. This one looks different from the others. Hold on. You noticed too, huh? Yeah, color's different, shape's different, yet it seems similar somehow. The material, that's what's similar. Maybe... It, is something wrong? Maybe what? No. Here they go again. <laughs> well, doesn't this look like fun? One. What are they doing here? Are they here to pick up a white? To what do we owe the pleasure of this visit? Class One's combat training isn't until tomorrow. Oh, Instructor Thomas's class was changed to a self-study period today. So, we thought it was the perfect opportunity for a little cross-class exchange, if you will. Class 7 seems to be the talk of the school lately, and we'd simply love the chance to get a little better acquainted. E exchange Judging by that rapier in your hand, 
I'm guessing you're not here to exchange pleasantries over tea and cookies. My, you're a sharp one, Schwarzer. Nothing gets by you. Why not try your steel against some real human opponents instead of that contraption over there? That could be one. We'd be more than happy to serve as representatives of Class One. Allow us, if you will, to demonstrate the refined spirit and dignity of the Erebonian nobility. <laughs> You little pieces of... Cool your jets. They're just trying to goad us into a fight. I'd be very interested to witness this refined spirit and dignity you profess. Well, looks like I found today's entertainment. <laughs> oh, is she going to upset right, the wall? change of plans. Today's practical exam will be a friendly training bout between classes 1 and 7. The fight will be 4 on 4, with both arts and item use allowed. Green, you'll be squad captain, so choose three of your classmates for your team. Roger that. Here's with be one. Of course, I wanna pick Emma. Then, probably Vian. Alice about the healer. This is cool. I just like the notion of fighting against women. It's a man's duty to protect the fragile flowers of womanhood, not to wound them. Reconsider your team, and this time, bring men to face us. Oh. Who the hell does he think he is? I'll put a fragile flower on his grave. Now, now, Fee. Guess this isn't going to happen until I do as he insists. Oh, we really have to be only male team. Male team. This should do. Hm. He should have been among the ranks of Class 1 to begin with. I would rather hope a son of House Alvarea would need no demonstration of the nobility's refined spirit and dignity. Choose again. Really? One would almost think you're trying to postpone the inevitable. It looks like fighting someone from another of the four great houses might be biting off more than he can chew. Looks that way. Makes me wonder who they won't conjure up some excuse for. Let's see. Why right, uh, Laura is at the peaks? I wonder. Can we try out this one? <clears throat> Hold it right there. <laughs> I believe I okay. consider. Hmm. It sounds like the upper class students know that Laura. They probably realize she'd mop the floor with them. <sighs> I guess I'll have to. Okay, we're gonna pick Laura either. This is the only party we can pick. Let's see. I better check out these. Action. Golden Spam. Should be one to go. Looks like you're all set then. Both teams, take your starting positions. He may be a fool, but even a fool can be dangerous with a blade in hand. And I'm sure his lackeys are well trained, whatever deficiencies they may have otherwise. Make sure you don't underestimate them. Got it. Well, he is a member of the fencing club, after all. <laughs> we'll see how cocksure he feels when we're through with him. Let's have a good fight, everyone. Let's start. We'll now begin the training bout between our representatives from classes 1 and 7. Combatants, weapons at the ready. Begin. Finally. <laughs> I'll show you what real nobility is. Um, let's cast some motivation dude. Right, let's do this. And I begin. Right, leave it to me. <laughs> let's try and put them to sleep. No. no luck. Leave it to me. Oh yeah, I need to check this person out. We're not gonna use that one. Man, this should do a trick. To me. Uh, 
Nice, it put uh, blinding on them. Leave it to me. Actually, if I cast the healing spell with this, my trust for my CP and then, then I can cast the ultimate. Thanks. Thanks. Oh yeah, only Rin really have here the ultimate here. Pretty damn game. Leave it to me. Go. Um, let's see. Impatient. Uh, I can restore some CP. No. Come on, sleep. Leave it to me. Defense it down. Ow. My turn. Um, let's use just this one. Now we can use this. Good. Go rain. Good damage. This is absurd. What is it gonna do Leave now? It to me. Nothing. Whirlwind. To me. Right. Let's see. With rock cannon, we better use the healing. Actually, I wanna heal with the Machias. So let's just use this one. Uh, it's my turn. Here we go. Hang in there, everyone! Thanks! <laughs> Thanks! Pretty cool about the Leave it to me. Need to take the turn off. Yep. No luck. That's like a tornado. Can we hit three of them? Seems we cannot. Take this. This guy keep using this golden spear attack. My turn. I better do some extra healing. The Machias healing alone won't be enough. My turn. Oh yeah, I need to cast the motivation again also. Here's in strike. Leave it to me. Here we go. Let's All do right. this. Let's do this. All right, leave it to me. Good, good. This is going yep. so fine. Oh no, they can even heal. Leave it to me. That's dangerous. How about this? Real before me. Bubble cracker. Yeah. Ow. All right. That was pretty strong attack. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. My turn. Go. Let's see, not enough CP. Can we strike this one again? Yeah, let's use this one. Huh. Just a bit yep. more. <coughs> Leave it to me. Okay, I'm gonna hit these two. Yeah, I'm over on hoping. 
Right. How about this? Nice, only two left. Almost all. Let's use this one. He's a strong uh, attack. Here we go. Cannot reach that far. Then let's just move a bit closer. <laughs> Yay! Yep. It's my turn. Let's get this out of the way. He's probably the only Fine healer. Turn. Let's go with this. There. And we should be done. Okay. That was a one white. So many usable items. AP ingressed by one. And the class seven was superior. The winning team is class seven. Of course. The victory is ours. Yeah, we showed them. Not bad. A passable performance. <sighs> that was some fight. We won. We really won. How does it taste choking down your own hubris? <laughs> this can't be happening. How could we lose to this, this rabble? <sighs> Hey, that was a good fight. Pretty intense, too. You had us on the defensive more than a few times. If we get another chance sometime, how... Guys, he never gonna shake a hand with him. Hands off me. Don't you dare start acting like you're above me, Reem Schwarzer. Just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. <laughs> you son of a... Uh, th that was uncalled for. The rest of you are no better. Did you somehow think scoring highest on the exams would mask the fact that you crawled up from the dregs of society? What have you, Ryan? A family of upstart arms peddlers who think being flush with money is all the pedigree they need. And what of the barbarian and your Jaeger tots? I'm surprised they can even read the enrollment form. What the hell? I won't deny how the Reinfern Company made its millions. Am I the Jaeger tot? What terrible things to say. Patrick? I think you might have He needs to calm down. Silence! You don't tell me what I can and can't say. How utterly foul. Enough of this. I'm not sure I understand. Maybe you can clear things up. What is it about nobles that makes them superior to those who aren't? <laughs> Gaius? I won't deny that I'm not from this country. That's as plain as the nose on my face. Back in my homeland, we don't really have anything like your class system. So the concept is pretty foreign to me. Really, I mean no offense by asking. But I want to know what it is that elevates nobles above the rest of the people. <laughs> the superiority of nobles is self-evident. We come from families of distinguished lineage built on generations of tradition. That gives us a dignity, refinement, and pride that those of common birth could never hope to possess. We represent the pinnacle of man's achievements. That is what makes us know. Hmm. You see, I've witnessed that dignity and refinement myself. I see it in how Laura and Eusis carry themselves. But that leads me to another question. I can understand the importance of tradition, lineage, dignity, pride. I get why those would matter. But where do you think they let you get off saying the kinds of things you did? Well, I... Gaius. Hmm. Well, Patrick, say it. I, I, I really think you should... Huh. Gaius raises an excellent...
excellent question. I'd say this marks the end of our mock battle. Many thanks to the members of Class 1 for their gracious cooperation. Oh, and just for future reference, self-study doesn't mean wander around outside doing whatever you want. That goes for you two over there, too. Back to the classroom with you. Yes, Instructor! Please excuse us. I've decided that for your combat training tomorrow, I'll be pointing out everything you did wrong today. I'll be giving you the full, shameful play-by-play, -play, of course. But I want you to really think about where you need to improve. <gasps> Very well. Excuse us. Patrick! Wait for us! Oh, for a while there, I was worried that was really gonna get ugly. As far as I'm concerned, it already had. This is exactly why I can't stand nobles. Please, don't place me in the same category as that imbecile. Thanks, guys. That meant a lot to me. Huh? Not sure why you're thanking me, but whatever I did, I'm glad to have helped. Okay, that concludes this month's practical exam. Next, I'll be giving you the locations for your next field study. Oh, yes. It That's gonna be interesting. Mind. Where are we going next? Actually, this month. Everyone, take one of these. And our cropies. Hmm. Green, Alissa, Emma, Susi, Skyus. North Highlands. Yeah, Island. That's in the far west of the Empire, isn't it? Indeed. It's an island off the coast of La Mer province, known for its ruins. However... The North Highlands are beyond the Empire's northeastern borders, are they not? That's right. They're out past Ruwer on the other side of the border. Since the Age of Antiquity, the Highlands have been home to a tribe of nomads. Yeah, now that you mention it, you're from the North Highlands, aren't you guys? Sure am. We've actually made arrangements so, for going to his homeland, to stay at my guys. Home in our settlement. I hope you'll all enjoy yourselves. Nice, we could Here's rank a up. something from the academy. <laughs> Saturday. Still. I couldn't believe it when I saw Nord Highlands written right next to our names. I wasn't ever expecting our field studies to take us that far out. Well, it does make sense, since it's an important place well, in the history of the Academy's interesting growth we have this time. Indeed, the Highlands are where he first began to solidify his military power during the War of the Lions. That's about the extent of my knowledge of the Highlands, to be honest. No worries. I'll tell you more about Nord on the way there. Anyway... I hope you're all ready for a long trip. The train ride between here and there is over eight hours. Eight hours? So That's long. almost an entire day's journey. It sounds as though the experience will be more than worth the trouble, though. By the time we get there, it'll probably be evening already. You think we should go stock up on some snacks before we leave? <laughs> There'll be no need for that, Lady Elisa. So you have packed everything. Mm. Good morning, Sharon. We're almost ready to head out to the station. Oh, of course, of course. I hope you all have a safe journey. I would thank also you, thank be very you. pleased if you would accept this. What is it? I took the liberty of preparing some sandwiches for all of you, ah, as well as a pot of tea for each group. I'm afraid I wasn't able to fix a proper breakfast, so I hope you'll enjoy these on the train instead. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Such a thoughtful caretaker. We'd be more than happy to accept them. Oh, think nothing of it. Any good maid would do as much. Well, well, everyone sure loves you, don't they? I guess my objecting to you being here just made you work that much harder to cozy up to everyone else. <laughs> I would never dream of such a thing. Please have a safe and pleasant journey, my lady. I'll be counting the hours until your return. Fine, fine, I'm leaving. Hold on, you aren't plotting anything else, are you? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Yeah, if you say so. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Have a safe journey. Thanks. <laughs> Please excuse us. The dormitory's in your hands while we're away. Oh, looks like group 
Group A just took off then. Good morning, Lady Sarah. Would it have been too much to see them off if you were awake this whole time? Their field study begins the moment they wake up on the day of their departure. So since I'm responsible for grading their performance, I figured it was best to leave them to their own devices. I see. You make a valid point. Just one question for you. When will you be returning? Ah, you truly are perceptive, Lady Sarah. I suppose there is no reason not to tell you. I will be returning before my lady and her classmates do. That's as much as I can tell you. I see. Wonderful. Well, I'm done with this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you guys next time.